G'day, Ravenous Fox here. This will be part 2 of my Trophy Lodge series. In case you missed part 1, I'll put the link to that video in the description below this video. Hope you enjoy. So for part 2, we have my high scoring lodge. This is where I keep all my animals that have a high score. Welcome to my high scoring lodge. Let's walk on in here and just down the stairs. So, the first animal I've got to show you is the reindeer up here that scored 619. Very nice reindeer indeed. Anything over 600 should be taximidized in my opinion. Anything under, it's kind of meh. I mean, I suppose 580 and over is good as well. Uh, 9.4 bobcat, very, very good. Usually, for my standards, anything over uh, 9.4. Two or more would be taxonomized for Bobcat. Uh, red Deer, anything over 270 is usually a safe bet. This one scored 273. Uh, polar Bear here scored 30. Um, anything over 30 for Polar Bear is great for taxonomized. Over here, we got a 1921 Snowshoe Hair. Anything over 1900 plus is a very good score to taxonomize. So that covers the left side. Moving on to the middle of the lodge, just above the fireplace here, we've got a cottontail rabbit that scored 1,933. Again, anything is very similar to the snowshoe hair back there. Anything over 1.9, so 1,900 or over, is great to taxonomize. Above him, we got a moose, a very big moose, 225 moose. Uh, for mooses, I'd recommend taximidizing anything over 210 would be the minimum. Um, for bison, oh god, um, this one scored 124. So I'd probably recommend anything over 120 would be a good bet to taximidize. Um, you can get probably higher on that actually, but this is my bison at the moment. Uh, just below him, next to the cottontail rabbit to the right, we have a European rabbit that scores 2,470. The European rabbit, sort of the same as cottontail and snowshoe hare, just take a hundred off the max score, so this one I would say recommend on taximidizing 2,400 or plus, so 2.4. Just down here, we've got a grizzly bear that scored 25. He's here. He's actually a blonde variation. Pretty sure you can get higher than that. Not too sure on the grizzly bear. I'd recommend 25 or more to taximidize. Here he is there. And then up here, we've got another reindeer that scored 601. Very nice reindeer. They do look different, as you can see over there. They're very cool. And just next to him, up here, we've got a roe deer that scored 248. I'll just uh, walk up here a bit so you can have a better look. There he is. Really cool. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Managed to get up on the stairs. Didn't mean to do that, but no, oh, there we go. Now you can have a proper look at him. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like I got myself on the railing here. Oh, well. <laughs> Hit my head. Uh, this one scored 16 for a Grey Wolf. Um, not a big fan of Grey Wolf, just because their scores, like, kind of iffed up, <laughs> messed up. So, I mean, for taximidizing them, I'd probably recommend, I don't know, 16.200 or more, maybe. At least in the leaderboard sort of range. Um, for the road is though, uh, just for taximidize purposes, I'd probably taximidize anything over... 210 for a roe deer. The same sort of score as a moose. So 210 for a moose, taximidize or over, and then the same as a roe deer. Alright, moving down. We have a American black duck that scored 1,599. Basically, Hall of Fame. It would have been last year, unfortunately. Um, but 
The unfortunate thing about this is I actually shot it on the ground in the water with my air rifle because that's what usually I do for fun. So yeah, it didn't count for leaderboards like Call of Fame, but it would have if I did shoot it in the air. Unfortunately, I did not. But here he is here. As for American Black Duck, I'd recommend taximatizing anything over uh, 1,500 seems to be a good score for them. Uh, just over here, we've got a feral goat that scored 163. Now, it's a bit special just because it's got that different horn variation. Usually, you see people taximatize the horn variation that goes uh, horizontally. I don't really like the look of those ones that much. I'd much prefer the taller ones like this. So this was kind of the highest I could get um, out of all the tall horn variations I could find. So I ended up taximatizing him. Uh, as I said, he scored 163. Uh, but taximatizing those sort of horn types, I recommend probably 160 or more. Um, as for the others, I'm not too sure. I think they can get over 300 in total for those uh, horizontal horns. But either way, let's move on. Uh, there's a white tail that scored 192. It can get bigger than that, but he's the biggest I've seen so far after the lodges came out. So I taximatized him. Scores 192. Oh, bit of a lag spike there, not sure why. 192 he scores, and I recommend taximatizing a white tail. Oh, if you haven't got one in your lodge, definitely over 190 for sure. Um, brown bear that scores 27. It's really nice there in that stance. Um, I'd recommend taximatizing a brown bear at least over 27. That's probably my minimum that I'd recommend for a brown bear. Um, just next to him, uh, we've got a pheasant down here. It scores 29. Uh, did shoot him in the air, I believe. Uh, so he's leaderboard, I think, last year. He scored, yeah, 29. So I'd recommend taximatizing a pheasant at least 29 minimum. You can see a lot of 28s um, out there in the field, so I'd recommend 29 or over if you really want to be top tier about it. Yes, that's your main taximatize sort of goal there at minimum. Um, and then we've got a Samba Deer that scored 247. Quite happy with this, actually. Um, I did get another Samba Deer that scored 242, I believe. I did taximatize him as well. So anything over 240, I'd recommend for Samba Deer to be taximatized. Um, up here, we got a Rocky Mountain Elk that scored 401. Uh, for Rocky Mountain Elk, I'd recommend taximatizing at least over 400. Anything below that's quite commonish to get, to be honest. So anything over 400 plus is great for Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, we've got a dull sheep, 203. Um, I don't know, I'd probably recommend anything over 201 to taximatize for a dull sheep. But there he is there, up there at the very top. And below him we've got a mule deer that scored 228. I'd recommend probably to taximatize uh, 210 plus, kind of like the moose and the uh, roe deer. And below him we've got a... whoops some reason it's got the Samba Deer highlighted. Got a Water Buffalo, 240. Uh, I have been meaning to improve on the Water Buffalo score. I got him uh, kind of recent, I guess, but I know they can get up to 219 score. So I'd probably, I'm holding off on my taximatizers now for the Water Buffaloes until I get maybe a 270 plus or more. Usually it would be a good goal, I reckon. Um, but yeah, he's quite low. I do need to improve on him. Uh, 399 Roosevelt Elk. Uh, very nice indeed. I mean, anything usually over 380 for Roosevelt is very, very good. So he's 399. Below him, we've got a Blacktail that scores 196. Now for Blacktail, I'd recommend taximatizing anything over uh, 192 would be a good bet. For Blacktail, uh, even 190 if you really want to push it. But yeah, here he is here. He is probably leaderboard last year. Um, here's a turkey, scores 68. Anything for turkeys? Uh, 68 minimum is what I would recommend to taximatize. Anything under 
is quite sort of commonish to get, to be honest. Um, red kangaroo, 89. Um, the red kangaroos, I'd recommend the Taxmadize uh, 86 or more, I would say, would be a good minimum for them. And that covers it. So, now I've got the prize exhibit just in the middle of the lodge here. This is my Roosevelt Elk that scored 401, just breaking the 400 mark. Very, very nice. Um, anything over 400 for Roosevelt Elk is pretty much god tier. Um, they're very, very rare to come across. Um, you, you hear stories of people going out there hunting for like three years plus and never finding one, so very, very fortunate I managed to get this one. And again, for Roosevelt Elk, anything over 380 minimum for them is really, really good for a trophy. And that covers it. So, hope you enjoyed my little tour of my high-scoring lodge. Uh, till next time, see yous.